What celebrity are you unable to like because of how fake they come off? Before we start with the first story, please hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with us. Story 1 Tyra Banks Every time someone told a heart-wrenching story about struggle or overcoming, she would make it about herself and how strong she is because she overcame your problem a long time ago. A classic one-upper. Oh yeah, same here but mine was like way more difficult. My favorite Tyraism was when some poor girl had her birthday, so Tyra gave her a framed photo of herself at that girl's age. It became a huge joke between my best friend at the time and I. Because I was several years older, I told her I'd give her a photo of me at her age for her birthday. Unfortunately, she passed away so I never got to but I just remember both of us watching that with our mouths open like, did she seriously just do that? OMG she did. Wild, tone deaf, narcissistic and unbelievable. Story 2 Simon Cowell The guy knocked up his best friend's wife. Enough said. Also he is horrifying to look at. To me his attempt to look more attractive via plastic surgery is a giant sign that he's actually an incredibly insecure man who hides behind the guise of being a snooty. I imagine he's not really as mean as he presents on his talent show television programs, but he is terrified of what people think of him and a lot of people who present that way use their persona to avoid dealing with their internal struggle. It's so funny how in his old interviews with Clarkson on Top Gear, he was boasting about how handsome he was back in like 2007, and now he's a mess. Story 3 Maybe unpopular, but Rivers Cuomo. He literally had the audacity to say in an interview that he never meets any fans and called them Little Bish for wanting to hear hit Weezer songs during concerts. Seems pretty fake to disparage people who pay to see your admittedly mid-ass band. I always thought he came off as pretentious, and then I listened to his episode of Conan Needs a Friend, and it was basically confirmed. He's clearly smart and talented, but he comes off as extremely unlikable. BJ Novak had that same air about him on the podcast too. If you can't get a little silly with Conan, I just don't trust you as a human. Story 4 Jojo Siwa Nothing about her comes off as genuine. It all feels like such a persona that I'm immediately repulsed by anything she does. Especially when she discovers the real her and it becomes her entire identity. I think she's judged two shows that I watch and none of her advice ever feels usable or applicable. You have a real energy about you and I want to see that come out in your feet. Let your dance smile like your face and bring more of you into your dance because you have a real positive energy about you. Skip. Story 5 I've never liked Oprah. My mom would watch her religiously when I was a kid. By God the crap she would spew, only to turn around the next week and contradict it. We all do and say things that are hypocritical. I admit I do it, but constantly on almost every subject. The fake doctors and shrinks she had on her show. I didn't get to spend a lot of time with my mom as a kid. I'd sit there and suffer just to be around her. A neighbor back in the day went on the show for a long lost friends reunited episode. She said when the cameras were rolling, Oprah was the kindest, warmest host. But as soon as the little red light went off, she was cold, arrogant, condescending, downright mean, just awful. But then the lights would come back up, the cameras would turn on and oh look, happy Oprah is back. My neighbor deeply regretted going on the show. Story 6 Ellen her whole persona always seemed completely fake to me. I was not surprised when it came out how mean and petty she is in real life. A friend of mine worked at the studio lot where they filmed Ellen. He would always share how everyone was supposed to avert their eyes and not make eye contact whenever she walked by. You were not allowed to speak to her or say hi to her. He said no one liked her because she was such a horrible person outside of her show persona. A former colleague of mine also worked at the studio and they said the same thing. They added that they were specifically told not to look at or talk to Ellen, and the girl that was with my former colleague ignored that and… When she saw Ellen she said, Hi! She was fired an hour later. Story 7 Ariana Grande I hate to say it because I think it's the result of a very weird, very Hollywood flavor of child abuse, but it feels like she has a persona rather than a genuine personality. Like she spent all of her formative years with her handlers crafting her into a product with a marketable persona and she just never grew into a real person as a result. And a few times that something that does feel genuine surfaces, 
it feels incredibly stunted, like the real person under the carefully crafted public face is a middle school girl in a 20-something body. Story 8 For me, it's Demi Lovato. I know she's been through so much and has a lot of struggles, but I feel like she doesn't even know who she is and keeps trying on different personas. It hasn't ever felt genuine to me. I think Lovato has BPD. One of the hallmarks is unstable, shifting sense of self. Trying on new personalities while trying to find yourself. But in BPD, these people are generally not doing this to deceive. She seems like a real mess. Life is hard, and I understand mental health struggles, but she seems to constantly change who she is for attention. I get that part of it is her job, but after being with many people who have cluster B personality disorders, she reminds me of that, and it puts a sour taste in my mouth. Story 9 I don't understand the Beyonce worship. She just seems to have zero personality, and her music and performances, while being a big show, are just like a corny Vegas performer to me. Think her voice is just okay, and everything is so curated to the point it lost any flavor. The people who stab her so much and act like she's a goddess must be amazed at a Big Mac seeing how much they love extremely. Manufactured products. Having grown up on her music from DC to now, I think she was a lot more personable when she was younger. Having peeks into her personality then is what endured a lot of us to her. She is hilarious. There's a new To Us video of her pretending to be Jay-Z for his birthday video, and I'm like, ah, that's the Beyonce I remember. Silly and goofy. I think people unfairly compare her to Rihanna in that way, but sometimes I think even Rihanna regrets being so open and relatable. Story 10 I don't keep up with celebrities enough at all to like or dislike them, but Millie Bobby Brown always gives me the impression of someone who escaped a doll factory after suddenly gaining sentience. Something about her just seems delayed and weirdly put together. LOL. I know she's obviously young, but compared to her famous co-stars, she doesn't seem normal, for lack of a better word. Second to her is, ironically, Drake, LOL. This dude managed to convince millions of people that he was fundamentally cool. He's nearly 40 years old, and as far as I know still makes music relatable to 20-year-olds at best. Also, every time I see dude in a picture, he gives off strong adolescent energy. It's strange. His short beef with Kendrick Lamar and its conclusion just made perfect sense. I'm just surprised it took this long for people to start raising eyebrows at his persona. The best celebrity personas are supposed to feel natural. Drake is the opposite of that. Story 11 Any of the Kardashians or Jenners. My roommate watches their show, and I will say Courtney seems like the only human being in a house of aliens. She'll be having a genuine problem, and the other short circuit trying to relate to real emotions. I did catch a clip that someone shared somewhere that basically went something along the lines of, Kim called Courtney over the phone, and she demanded to know why Courtney had the audacity to distance herself from the family. She stood up for herself in a pretty mature fashion, but Kim just had to bring out the claws and took some nasty swipes at her, such as informing her that the entire family allegedly has a group chat called Not Courtney, and that all they do is talk about her in there. First of all, how do you lack the self-awareness to understand that of course someone is going to distance themselves from a family who treats them that way? Did she not hear her own words that she was saying? Kim had to keep going and going until she reduced Courtney to tears. It was then that her whole aura changed and she went back to her smug and arrogant self. She obviously set out to hurt Courtney. It was never about actually understanding. When they were younger, I was willing to just accept that they were young, and under the influence of a momager, a lot of people look like narcissistic in their teens in 20 seconds. Fine. But Kimberly is in her 40 seconds now, she's a mother herself now. She made a deliberate choice not to grow as a person and that's her fault. At this point, I have no sympathy at all. Story 12 Beyonce and Jay-Z when she had her baby at the hospital and some new father's baby was in the NICU. Her new father was trying to see his baby, and because he had to walk past Beyonce's room, the father was denied entry. I know the father sued and got an undisclosed settlement, but who the heck do those people think they are? Their child is not more important than anyone else's. Random fun fact, I was working for a different hospital that's part of that hospital's network when that event occurred. The big wigs for the health network sent a mass email out to every employee in the network swearing it was fake news and they would never do something like that for a celebrity and the dad was just lying for fame and money. Also fun story, years before that I was a volunteer for the children's hospital in that same health system. 
One day I was assigned to help with a big exciting event where that year's Miss Universe was coming to do crafts with hospitalized kids and they were going to televise the craft project and her on the in-hospital Chanel. So kids who couldn't leave their rooms and go to the playroom could do it too. In order to do the event, they found two kids who parents were willing to let their sick kids be recorded for it. Then they did the event in one of the unit's playrooms, closing down the playroom of that unit for hours so no other kids on the unit who wanted to play could go. They absolutely had other rooms they could have done it in without making other hospitalized kids suffer for a PR photo op. My point between that event and a few other experiences, I 100% believe the dad in the Beyonce NICU story and always have, despite any claims the hospital has made otherwise. Story 13. James Corden. Dude is a Let's not forget the fun flight stories of that douche. Half an hour into a New York to London flight, passengers in business class noticed a woman with a crying baby being brought through the curtains by a flight attendant. They looked on in mild horror as they saw the attendant direct her into an empty seat next to James Corden. Expecting a huge celebrity hissy fit to kick off, Corden's cabin mates were impressed to see that he didn't say a word or make any sort of complaint. He simply put on a pair of noise-canceling headphones, pulled an eye mask over his eyes, and turned away from her to sleep. Pretty decent of him, right? When the plane landed, though, passengers were surprised to see Corden remain seated as the woman with the baby struggled to open the overhead locker. And even more surprised when she turned to Corden and said, For d sake, can you at least hold the baby while I get the bags down? The woman was his wife. The baby was his baby. Story 14 Dr. Oz. Dude is such an overly confident idiot, it's not even funny. I went to a taping of his show with my cousin in 2010 because she bought tickets and invited me along. I mean, nothing beats free show tickets. Taping went okay, I guess. But then a few years later, a friend of a friend goes onto Facebook writing a status in tears saying she was watching him and he claimed that women her age can't conceive and to freeze their eggs. She was 35 at the time and a wreck saying she felt like she never was going to achieve her dream of motherhood. I remember her saying, he's a freaking heart doctor, not a gynecologist. His reasoning is wrong and he doesn't know about anyone's reproductive health at all. I almost dated a guy who pissed me off telling me if I keep waiting to have a baby, it's going to get harder for me to conceive. I was 30 at the time. That dude didn't know about conception. And to top it all off, I came to find out he was cheating on his wife that he married in an arranged marriage and was trying to screw as many white women as he wanted because his wife wouldn't give him Story 15 As a non-American, I think there's something uniquely weird about American celebrity culture, like the absolute unquestionable adoration around some celebs. Oprah, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Tom Cruise, The Kardashians, Kanye, etc. It's like a whole other level. There are always critics, but it's like these people live in a different world, isolated from it all. I think in the UK, we like our celebrities to hit the ground every once in a while. Like Ed Sheeran's mates will still give him down the pub after he sells a billion records or whatever. I know a lot of that comes from all those people being obscenely wealthy, but they all just seem to have such perfectly managed personas and it takes a lot to crack it. I feel like any celebrity that spends too much time smelling their own farts is mental. They feel like they deserve all the obscene things they're granted. Alright folks, that's a wrap. If you like this, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also share your those in the comment below.